We begin with the U.S. Department of Justice. For seven years, Albuquerque police have been subject to monitoring by the department through a consent decree. And that began after a use of force incident. But as Active 7 News reporter John Cardinelli tells us, one New Mexico congresswoman is now calling to end the agreement. Republican Congresswoman Yvette Harrell sent this letter to the United States Attorney General Merrick Garland, calling him to end the DOJ consent agreement with the Albuquerque Police Department. For her, it wasn't really a political risk at all, but it was kind of speaking to her base of pro-law enforcement and to people who are frustrated with crime. In the letter, the New Mexico Congresswoman states, Officers feel over-scrutinized, worried they will be falsely accused of wrongdoing, and choose to serve other communities, leaving the department understaffed and streets under-patrolled. Well, by speaking to an Albuquerque issue and going up to bat for them now, I'm sure her team sees it as a potential uh, win for her in the election coming up in November. Political expert Rhiannon Samuel says the move comes at a good time for the congresswoman, as crime is top of mind in the state, and with the new district map, she has to begin to attract more Burqueños. There's going to be a larger portion of the Albuquerque voting population, and she wants to make sure they're on her side. The move by the congresswoman comes before other Democratic Congress people. Well, I haven't seen anything from Congresswoman Stansbury on the DOJ issue. Um, I have seen Mayor Keller be somewhat critical of the DOJ's um, staying in Albuquerque. We reached out to Mayor Keller's office about the letter. In a statement, they told us in part, the Congresswoman is echoing concerns the city and APD leaders highlight every week with the Department of Justice and in federal court. We have to find a path to fight crime and enact meaningful reform. The city's negotiations with the DOJ are well underway to carve our own path to doing exactly that. Samuel thinks the letter does have potential to create change. Yes, this letter could make a difference because there's a national dialogue around how long the DOJ is in certain cities. Um, but we haven't seen from the DOJ in particular them establishing timelines. But it's very much within the public sphere of discussion. I was John Cardinelli reporting. Congresswoman Harrell has requested a response from the United States Attorney General on the matter by February 25th.